having even more fun than usual around here because all this week we've got big stars playing for their favorite charities. It's Celebrity Week! <laughs> Today's returning celebrity contestant is a real estate mogul who's hoping to take a big bite out of the million bucks, all in the name of charity. From the hit show Shark Tank, please welcome Barbara Corcoran! No, you told me last time that you never get questions right. Well, you got your first I one right one, last yeah. show. Yeah, I'm feeling cocky now. Well, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, uh, you, you're one of your co-stars on the hit show Shark Tank. Uh, you have some knowledge about him. Who is this? You're not talking about is it, Robert Hershevet. I'm is talking he about here? Mr. Hershevet. Well, get ready for Robert. He's going to bring 40 suits, 40 ties, 40 cufflings, and he's going to ask your personal opinion nine times in a row. What do you think looks better? What do you think looks? He'd make a much better girl. Well, he, <laughs> well, yeah, I know about the 40 suit thing. I have well, to say Well, you that. wear my heck of a lot better than he does, and I can tell you that. Oh, well, thank you, Barbara. Don't do I that like to that. me. I'm Don't happy. do that to me. <laughs> All right. Just to recap, you are still battling your way through round one. So far, you've banked $1,000. And you are 13 questions away from a million dollars with two lifelines remaining. If at any time in this round you decide to walk away, you leave with half your money. You are now playing for the Dyslexia Foundation. Can you tell us a little more about Surely. that? Surely. It's an information body of people that care about children, that give information to parents who think their children might have a learning disability, and they help them out. That's great. That's awesome. Awesome. Are you ready to play? I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's play, man. Here is your first question. If you're sipping a mixture of citric acid, calcium phosphate, salt, ascorbic acid, artificial flavor, and water, you're literally doing which of these? Working for peanuts, drinking the Kool-Aid, bringing home the bacon, having your cake, and eating it too. I'm going to have to go with B, drinking Kool-Aid. Is that your final answer? Do you think it should be my final answer? I can neither <laughs> confirm nor deny. Well, just give me a... Or a... <laughs> or... <laughs> that looks like a yes to me. I'm going with Kool-Aid. B is my final answer, baby. <laughs> you are correct, yes. Barbara. You are correct. Now, See how much this is worth. A lot. Seven thousand yeah! dollars. Now you're talking eight thousand dollars in your bank. That's peck popping money. Are you ready for your next question? You keep you doing those things with your chest. <laughs> Lowe's says if your living room feels small, you can make it appear to double in size by covering an entire wall with which of these? Plumber's putty, duct tape, recycled plywood, mirror tiles. Of course it has to be D. You think so? Blinking. <laughs> mirror tiles, D. <laughs> Is that your final answer? Yes! <laughs> Is that get her? Ten thousand dollars! Ten thousand dollars for that! I've been overpaid. The questions are randomly shuffled. That was worth two hundred bucks, in my opinion. <laughs> Eighteen thousand dollars in your bank. Let's keep it rolling. Here is your next question. It's easy money, baby. Your third wedding anniversary might be the best time to reenact your favorite. Fifty Shades passages, as it's traditionally celebrated with what? Paper, leather, bronze, china. Reenact your favorite Fifty Shades, that sexy book. I read it three times. <laughs> Third 
100 wedding anniversary. It's time to reenact your favorite Fifty Shades. Oh, yeah, to get into it, okay. As it's traditionally celebrated with what? It's so sad, you know, I don't know what the third wedding anniversary is. Um, but I think I'm gonna call on the very smart audience because I bet you everybody here really remembers their anniversary. You'd like to ask the audience. I sure as hell would. Yep. All right, audience, Barbara needs your help. And Grab you better those be right, keypads guys. and vote now. We have the vote. Let's take a look. 75% of this audience wow, says B. Wow, I'm gonna have to go with you because I don't know B. And it is my final answer and I'm holding them accountable. Now you say you read the book how many times? The truth? <laughs> All three of them, three times. Ooh, well, yeah, listen, it came in handy because you are right. Oh, you are right, Barbara. They're right. I wasn't right. Leather, of course it's leather. Yes. Le how much money did it get you? Oh, my God. I didn't see that hint. with the lovely Barbara Corcoran, and she is raising money for the Dyslexia Foundation, and she has got $23,000 in her bank. You ready to keep it going, Barbara? I sure am. Bring it on, bring it on. Let's play Millionaire! Here is your next question. Rolling Stone's list of the 100 best debut albums credits what artist with the most inspired rock lyric on record? A wop, bop, a loo bop, a wop, bam, boom. Jerry Lee Lewis, Chubby Checker, Little Richard, Buddy Holly. You know, I have to guess between A and C, and I'm going to go with A. Jerry Lee Lewis. Please. Come on, Jerry. Final answer. Closing my eyes. <laughs> that's so scary. Yeah, that's my final answer. Jerry Lee Lewis. Barbara, I am no. so sorry. Oh, the no, answer no. is C. Oh, I Little Richard, the line is from close. his song Tootie Fruity. Oh, but you raised $10,000 for the Dyslexia Foundation. Thank you, Barbara. You're awesome. Hope you had fun. Thank you so much. As one rich lady, <laughs> as the king of pop culture, our next celebrity contestant is known to dish the dirt while playing games with fellow celebrities on his own show. And today, watch what happens when he's dishing out answers for his chance to win a million dollars for charity. From Watch What Happens Live, please welcome Andy Cohen! Happy to have you here. I'm so buddy. happy to be here. I'll tell you this, man. Now, what is the charity you're playing for today? I am playing for a charity called Doorways. It's in St. Louis, and it is an interfaith AIDS housing and service center. And my mom has been involved with this charity for over 25 years. Wow, wow. Give it up. Give it up for Andy. <laughs> now, Andy, you are known as the king. Of pop culture. Am I've I? been on your Am show, I? brother. The king of pop you culture. You are the king Thank of you. pop culture. Thank you. Do you think that's going to help you here today? Yeah, no, I, I, I feel confident right now, but I'm, this is the beginning. Wow. And you are also an author. Yes. I know you have a new book. What I do. My about? second book is coming out. It's called The Andy Cohen Diaries. Yeah. Uh, it's out now, actually, and it's a year in my life. It's a deep look at a shallow year, and it's behind the scenes of my talk show and falling in love with a dog and dating and running around New York City. I dropped more names than you could ever believe. It's, oh, that's it could good. have been called Diary of a Name Dropper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's nice and juicy. Yes, right? it's juicy. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. man, I'm so happy. Let's get you some money. 
money. Let's get yes. you a million dollars Let's do for it. your charity. Okay. okay. Andy, the questions have already been shuffled. Okay. The money values have been shuffled too. You have all your lifelines. Okay. You ready, Andy? I'm ready. All right, ready. then let's play Millionaire! Yeah. Okay. Here is your first question. Okay. Alluding to a salt and pepper hit, a photo on funnysigns.net shows a shop door with a sign that says what? Don't pull it. No, don't do it. Close it. Close it behind you. Push it. Push it real good. <laughs> if you're going to slide it, slide it right. I, I, I would like to give a shout out to D because I feel <laughs> that a good lyric for someone would be if you're going to slide it, slide it right. <laughs> okay, I think that's a really good lyric. Uh, but it is most assuredly. C, I love my girls, salt and pepper, and they know how to push it, push it real good. Final answer. You are right, Mr. Cohen! Now let's push some money yeah. in your bank okay. right now. Okay. Ten oh, oh, We'll be right back in Celebrity Week with Andy Cohen! Welcome back to Millionaire. I'm here with the lovely Andy Cohen. He's <laughs> raising great. money for his charity, Doorways, and he has got $10,000 yes. for us, guys. Yes. Feel good. Are you ready to keep it going? Let's keep it going. I can't wait. Let's play Millionaire! Yeah. <laughs> <I'm okay. laughs> here is your next question. Okay. Despite her own 101 decibel transgressions, Maria Sharapova is among those who support eliminating what from tennis? Automated line calls, excessive grunting, medical timeouts, titanium brackets. B, excessive grunting, final answer. You are correct, Andy! <laughs> now let's get some excessive money! Okay. $100, all right. $100, well, that's off what? the board. Look at all that yeah. money right there. Okay. $25.15, let's get it. Here is your next question. Okay. Because physicians often lack a skill taught in elementary school, the National E-Prescribing Patient Safety Initiative helps to counteract doctors what? Poor arithmetic skills, ignorance of state capitals, bad penmanship, slouched posture. <laughs> Okay. Uh, it is C, bad penmanship, final answer. That's a good answer. Okay. Let's keep it going, Andy. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Some more money. What do I got? What do I got? $2,000. $2,000. Oh, good. $12,100 in your bank. I like Let's my bank. I like my money. bank. Next question. Okay. If you add the number of interlocking rings on the Olympic flag, to the number of interlocking rings in the Audi logo, what's the total? <laughs> That's hilarious. Eight, <laughs> nine, 10, 11. Okay. Hilariously, I drive an Audi. Oh. <laughs> but now I'm trying to remember what the freaking logo is. Okay. The rings, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. The Audi. One, two, is it three or four? I feel that it's four rings. Okay, I'm gonna say B9, final answer. You drive an Audi? Yes. Well, I guess that's why you're right. Yes! <laughs> you know, we gotta do this, Andy. It's good TV. Let's bring in some money. I 
if I get if if I get a million, I'm getting on your back and you're gonna run me around. Yeah, I, 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 okay. I will. Okay, you, that is what okay. listen, well, now this is exciting. 000. Let's revisit my bank. Oh yeah, thirty-seven thousand one hundred dollars okay. in your bank. Okay. Six questions. In round one. Okay, I have a full deck. I have all my, you have I have all everything. The lifeline, okay, Andy. okay. Hey, the sky's the limit. Okay, let's keep it okay. going. I'm starting okay? to freak out a little bit. Okay, it's okay. 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 I, I swept you off your feet. Uh, give me Here some pops. Give me some pops. There we go. There okay, we go. very good. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Next question. Like actual tinkers, the character known as Tinkerbell was described by Peter Pan author J. M. Barry as a fairy who did what? Tinkerbell. Fix pots and kettles, shoot horses, thatched straw, made candles. I'm probably the only gay guy in America who doesn't know the answer to this question. <laughs> like actual tinkers, what do tinkers do? Like actual tinkers, the character known as Tinker Bell was described by Peter Pan author J.M. Barry as a fairy who did what I feel like I could guess it but I think that's a bad idea so I'm gonna I'm gonna ask the audience all right you're gonna ask the audience audience Andy needs your help grab those keypads and vote now all right we have the vote let's take a look 79% of the audience says A, fixed pots and kettles. Were you leaning that way? No. I was not. I no. wasn't. I am so grateful to this audience for being 79%. I mean, that I would characterize that on Watch What Happens Live. We pull the, the people at home and they vote on things. And I would characterize 79% as a stone cold landslide. Terry, I'm gonna say A, fixed pots and kettles. Final answer. The audience did not let you down, you're right. Man. Now let's see how much money this audience got ya. Here's your question of the day. A fixture on Watch What Happens Live every night, Andy Cohen's pet beagle mix Waka is named after a what? Style of New York apartment building, Chuck Norris TV drama, St. Louis Cardinals pitcher, Star Wars character. Stay tuned for the answer. The answer to that question was St. Louis Cardinals pitcher. Welcome back to Millionaire. I'm here with my man Andy Cohen. He's raising money for his charity, Doorways. And he has $37,600 yes. in his bank. Yes. You ready to keep it going, Andy? I want to keep it going. Absolutely. Let's play Millionaire! <laughs> Here is your next question. Before Clint Eastwood nabbed it, what singer was originally cast in the role of Dirty Harry Callahan? Frank Sinatra, Elvis Presley, Harry Belafonte, Mick Jagger. Okay, I, I will say, I think it would be f funny if Sinatra was. I, I just don't feel he would be right. That's where you're leaning? I think Jagger would be before his time. I think Harry Belafonte would have been a fantastic and fascinating casting choice, but I can't see it, which is why I was really thinking, wow, maybe it would be Elvis. But I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump. Final, final answer. Decision. Yeah, final, final decision. answer. Yeah. Okay, Andy has jumped the question. Now, do you, you tell me play. the answer? Okay. You thought it was Elvis Presley. Yeah. Was it? No, wow. it was okay, Frank good. Sinatra. Okay. Good move. Okay. But how much money did you jump Okay. Over? $5,000, okay. right. that's okay. okay There's it. still big money okay. here. Okay. That's a good move, Andy. Can I go to my friend and see if he knew the no, answer? No, you can't. Yeah. It, uh, that's our show for today. Okay. It's Celebrity Week. Okay, I'm coming back. He's coming back. back. I'll see Andy's going. He's shaking me. <laughs>